Matt needs to buy some wheels today. Definitely get those. That guy must be super handsome. Welcome back to the Struggle Series. I've been skateboarding for 22 years. Obviously, I've done a lot of tricks, but there's even more tricks that I have not done and combinations of tricks that I have not done. So that's what this series is about. Me picking a new trick that I've never landed before, not even one time, and trying to figure out how to unlock it with you guys. Today's trick is... Uh, what's it called? Mm. What's it called? Uh, front side blunt? No, that's not it. What do you What do you technically call those? Blunt front side flip. Blunt front side flip. Clearly, I don't do blunts a lot. So we're gonna try this on this quarter pipe over here. There's Henry. Kind of like there. I don't know, I, I think it's, I'm just rolling up with my foot in a front side flip. When I'm in the blunt stall, I'm like, my body's kind of over my front foot. I feel like that's where it's gotta be to flip. I don't know, I guess the rest is just committing to it, I'd imagine. Seems like it's right there. I could be wrong. Ah. Yeah, like when, I, when I'm flicking that kick flip, it keeps going out in front of me. And when that happens on flat ground, you usually like drop your front shoulder right before you flick and it'll stay right under you. So I'm going to try that this time. Oh yeah, dude, that worked a lot better. Definitely got to drop the front shoulder. Oh no, I didn't drop the shoulder that time. Uh, it seems like you definitely got to, I definitely have to drop my shoulder before I flick the kickflip. That's helping keep the board under me. As far as the rest of it goes, uh, it's gotta be just committing. I'm obviously not because I've never done this trick before. I'm 32 years old and I'm pretty uncomfortable right now, but I promise you, I will stick one. <laughs> Yeah, I, I know drop the front shoulder, but now I'm just trying to figure out how to get the flick to turn more. Every time I flick it, it feels like it's just going to fakie. Come on, dude. Oh, I gotta stick it. All right, if I could do that, like, every try, then, then that's it. All right, we're getting there. That one was just not under me. Oh, yeah. That's basically the idea of it, I guess. That was Dutch money. RIP. Now, that would be really sick if I could land in the transition though and not on, on the flat. All right, I'm gonna start putting them down. I think I'm just like having a commitment issue. Issues with commitment. Oh, dude, this is why girls leave you. You're afraid to come in. All right, right here for my ex. All of them. Dude. If any of my exes are watching us right now, they're like, that's right, dude. That's exactly why we left you. That and 20 other reasons. Come on!
God. Get it. Yo. Uh, I, I think I pretty much got it now. It's just remembering the steps, like front blunt, kind of be on top of it. You got to make sure your shoulders are ready to spin you back in, drop the front shoulder on the flick, and I guess just commit. It seems like I have everything down except for the commit, so let's see if I can get one. Yeah, so it, it seems like the the main step that, or the main ingredient I was missing was commitment. Uh, that was the first one I like fully committed to and rolled away. So my advice is once you're in that front blunt, make sure your, your foot's already in that front side flip position. So not kick flip, down a little bit, slightly more angled for that front side flip turn. Use your shoulders to wind up, pop out of your blunt, drop your front shoulder, flick, Stay right on top of it and don't be scared. You lied to me. How much worse I get once I'm being filmed. You had that first try. Yeah, without a camera being pointed at me. What do you mean? You're used to having cameras around you. Around you, on you, in you. Damn, first tee. Ah. <laughs> King Henry. Lord of the praying mantis, the mantis. Wild boys. <laughs>